say congratulations on this brand new album. I've been listening to it here in the office all day, and it is an absolutely fantastic album. Congratulations. Uh, perfect. Thank you so much. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Now, I know today is a little bit of a downer because it was supposed to be the album launch tonight, but we're back in lockdown. So I've got to ask, how difficult has it even been to be able to put this album together when we've been in and out of lockdowns over the last 18 months? Oh, uh, yeah, it's definitely been a challenge. Uh, yeah, right right from the start. Um, I think we, we laid the drums down sort of, you know, March last year or something. So it's sort of been just a case of piecing together whatever we can whenever we can uh you know right through the recording process and then you know even through get we were getting photos done before the album and stuff so um you know i'm based in melbourne and all the other guys are in geelong as well so there was that extra complication of you know trying to get us all together so that we could uh shoot some photos um but now we're sort of at the tail end of it and then we've been locked down again but it is what it is, you know. We're just going to keep going ahead as, as much as we can. Yeah, exactly. Now, your um, debut album did so well. Um, it saw you guys get nominated for awards. It was getting high praise everywhere. Did that kind of put more pressure on what you've done since then, and especially with this album as well? Uh, yeah, I think there was definitely some, some element of, uh, you know, with the reception of the first one, making sure that, that this one followed it up nicely as well, uh, especially for myself. You know, I <clears throat> I sort of joined in around 2018, so after the, the first album was out. So for myself, definitely, there was that uh, pressure to sort of fill Ziggy's shoes a little bit, but I think it's all come together pretty nicely and we're pretty happy with it. Yeah, and what was that like for you coming into the band like that after they'd kind of already found success with that first album? Like... That must have almost been a weird experience for you as well. Yeah, going into it, I, I wasn't really sure what to expect, you know. Uh, but uh, all the guys are super chill, like really easy to get along with. Um, so you know, pretty much s- slipped straight in. It, it wasn't a, uh, well, it wasn't you know. Obviously, I had nerves going into it and everything. Uh, you want to you want to make a good impression and everything like that. But yeah, I, I needn't have worried. It was it was really easy. Yeah. Now, was there something that you guys were setting about to do with this album as well? Like the name Summertime Highs, it's a very summery kind of album with a, a lot of like a party atmosphere to it. Was that something that you guys were planning to do with the album? Um, yes and no. I think it sort of just came about. Um, you know, we had the title track Summertime Highs that was uh, sort of sitting on there and I think we sort of just went with that name because we felt it, it represented the album um you know the sound of it <clears throat> not just the, that album but also the first album you know it's that sort of party rock sort of vibe um really sort of feel good stuff um so i think we just sort of roll with that and you know it sort of uh, represents who we are as a band as well as as this as the album yeah so what is the dangerous curves writing process like like do you guys work on the lyrics first? Do you work on the music first? How does that whole process work out? Uh, so usually it's the music, you know, Cammy will come in with, he, he's the riff writer of the band, so he'll come in with, with something just a bit at every week that he wants to work on. Uh, and we'll, we'll go from there, you know, have a bit of a jam, see what we can work out, what sounds good, what doesn't. Uh, and then Kim, our singer, he'll sort of just, he sort of just ad libs over the top and then, Lyrics sort of don't come until later down the track. Uh, he's, he's very good at sort of just making up rhymes on the fly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with, with him coming in every week with new riffs like that, that must be pretty exciting because I know some bands that they go through creative um, times and other times it's like a drought. That must be pretty exciting for you when he's coming in so frequently with, with new stuff to work on. Like It must be like a present almost for you. Oh yeah, it's great. Like, it, it, you know, even even once once the recording is had finished for for this album, he was he was still bringing in new riffs, wanting to wanting to jam them along. Um, so there's definitely no shortage of uh, of starting points as far as the music is concerned. So, you know, I've been in bands before where it's you sort of sit down, you're like, all right, we need to write a song, and then everyone's just blank. No one no one knows what to play. You know. 
Yeah, yeah. And was there anything kind of influencing this album? Like, was there um, a style of music or anything that you were listening to? Or do you think the events of that were going around the world kind of affected anything as well? Um, so I think some of these songs have sort of been on the back burner um, from around uh, the So Dirty Riot album. I know there was definitely around two or three tracks, which was sort of mostly... Uh, you know, the, the, the bare bones of them had already sort of been written by the time I was coming into it. But I think, uh, yeah, we've just sort of um, pieced it together and, and and gone along and seen what we can come up with and, and gone from there. And Yeah, yeah. And if everything opens back up now, what are your, what is the plans for the band for the rest of the year? Like, are you guys going to look out to to do some local shows here in Melbourne? Or do you want to go in a state as well? What's what's the plans there if everything opens back up successfully this time? Uh, well, obviously, first thing first, we'll be uh, doing our Melbourne launch. That was something we were really looking forward to and was meant, meant to happen tonight. But obviously, we'll reschedule that and, uh, and, and get a new date organised with the venue. Um, and then I, I think the plan is once it opens up, yeah, to really start you know, playing some places we haven't played before, reaching some new people, just putting this album album in front of absolutely everyone that we can. Yeah. With the show being cancelled tonight, what do you guys do now to try and promote the album with it coming out? Like, do you guys get on social media tonight and try and reach out to your fans that would have been there tonight? Or what do you do? Like, it's such a weird thing that we're all going through at the moment with shows just being cancelled like that with 24 hours before the show yeah it's really hard like i don't know i'm sort of talking to kim at the moment about <clears throat> figuring out uh you know what we can what we can give people obviously the album's going to come out tomorrow so everyone that's purchased it will have a chance to listen to it um you know it's it, it's it's that line between wanting to give everyone absolutely everything but also we, we want to save save the party for the launch as well so yeah um, but I, I think I think we'll we'll have to do something to you know keep people's spirits up I suppose yeah definitely and for the our listeners out there that do want to grab a copy of the album now where can they grab that copy from if they want to uh, so all, all the purchasings done through our our band camp um, which there's links on our Instagram you know that we've got the the bio with a link that has everything sort of listed on it in in one spot um same with the facebook if you go to our about about section like the links there it'll give you everything you need to know um otherwise it's just dangeruscurves.bandcamp.com awesome well we're going to take another listen to good and the bad on the show right now so is there anything you would like to say to your fans out there before they take another listen to this amazing track but also before they go out and grab the album as well uh, just thank you for all the support. We hope you enjoy it as much as uh, we've enjoyed putting it out there for you guys. And uh, hopefully we can all get together and, and listen to it together after lockdown. Definitely. And for all our listeners out there, um, keep an eye on our social media as well. And we'll let you know when the Dangerous Curve show is going to happen that's been postponed from tonight as well. Will, thank you so much for coming on the show. It's been an absolute pleasure chatting to you and we cannot wait to see what you guys do for the rest of the year now. Not a problem. Thanks for having me, Dave. Not a